YouTube, Joe Bassett here from Valiant Outfitters. Welcome back for another Wilderness Wednesday. This week, I'm gonna show you how to hang a bear bag. In particular, using the Pacific Crest Trail method of hanging a bear bag. There are several ways you can hang a bear bag, or if you're in country where you need to use a bear canister, that's what you would use, you wouldn't use a bear bag. But here on the East Coast, most of where you're gonna hike or where you're gonna bushcraft, you're gonna camp out, you wanna hang just a bear bag and that's fine. If they have a bear vault, of course, use that. Now, when I'm looking for a location to hang my bear bag, I'm gonna picture a triangle or what we jokingly call the Bermuda Triangle. In this case, the wind is coming this way towards me. So at one point or pointing into the wind, I'm gonna put my campsite and then that's back behind where the camera is here. Then back behind me, I found a tree where I wanna hang my bear bag. And then on the other part of the triangle is where I'm gonna cook my food. Now you don't always have to separate cooking your food from your campsite. Uh, but it's a good habit to get into if you're in country where there's bear or a lot of critters. And that's one thing I want to say about bear bags is they're not just to keep bears out of your tent. Though that's a good thing. It's also to keep critters out of your tent. Man, you can have that Snickers bar that you wanted to eat overnight and then you got that wrapper in your tent and that scent starts to fill the woods around where you are and you get a squirrel or a chipmunk starting to gnaw at the side of your tent or digging in underneath your shelter or your tarp and there's nothing worse than that. And they can put a pretty nasty bite on you if you startle them. So your bear bag is for more than that. What do I want to put into my bear bag? Anything that's going to have a scent that Snickers wrapper I talked about, anything I'm packing out that has a scent to it. In my bear bag, I'm just out for a one night uh, in a primitive shelter here in uh, North Florida. So I'm just using my haversack for a bear bag. You can use a stuff sack for that. In this, when I hang it, I have an MRE that's gonna have scent to it. And I wanna make sure that's in my bear bag. My toothpaste, I have just a little bottle of some bug repellent. Uh, anything that's going to have a smell or a scent to it. So that's all going to go into my bear bag. To hang my bear bag, I need a hank of cordage. Here I just have some paracord, a stick, and in this case, two carabiners. I'm going to use the carabiners for two things. One is to secure my cordage to my bear bag. The other is I'm going to slingshot it up over a branch behind me. When I'm looking for a tree to hang my bear bag, I want to find a branch that's more or less parallel to the ground and at least 25, maybe 30 feet up. That's so that I can get the bag up high enough to be out of the reach of a bear. I also want that branch to come out far enough so that a bear can't climb the tree and grab a hold of the bag that way. Now with your paracord, I have mine uh, wrapped and stored the way I like to do it that it will not tangle if you unwrap it properly. I have a video that I'm gonna put up here if you wanna see how I do that. But one of the first things I wanna do is I wanna put a loop in the end of this. Now you can put a bowl in, but you know my favorite loop at the end of cordage is gonna be that overhand loop or what I call the end loop. So an overhand knot, secure that, take my carabiners, put those through there, and I'm gonna David and Goliath sling that up over this branch that's back here behind me. Now before I do that, I wanna make sure that I stack or flake my cordage so that it's not tangled. All right, let's go sling it up over the branch. Okay, I've slung my carabiner with my cordage up and over. If you don't have a carabiner, you can use a stuff sack with some rocks or sand in it, or they do make rock bags you can throw up over a branch. I've even used a sock. I've taken off my sock, put some rocks into it, tied that off. Uh, but if I had that carabiner, I'm set to go. Down here, I have the back side of my cordage here. Now be careful because if your carabiner or whatever you use to throw up over the branch is too heavy, it can just pull that right up away from you and you have to rethrow it. Now what I want to do is take the bag and I'm going to secure it with that carabiner. Then I'm gonna take that free end of my cordage and put that through the carabiner. Now I can pull that bag up until it stops. Back down here under the bear bag, I get my stick and I'm going to tie 
a marlin spike hitch. Remember, that's the one where I'm just going to take my hand, thumb down, and make a loop and spin it up, and then walk it up on top of itself and pull it through. Take my stick, put it in my marlin spike hitch, pull it tight, then it's going to stop the bag part way up. Now you can see from the bear's perspective, it's too high for me to get. And this cordage here, there's nothing he can do to grab a hold of it because he doesn't have opposable thumbs. And even if he does get it and pull it, the bag's just gonna go back up. And then when he lets go of the rope, it's gonna come back down, but he's not even gonna get that far. How do we get my bear bag down? I just pull on that same cordage. Take the stick out of my Marlin spike hitch. Let the knot out. And my bear bag is down and I can pull my cordage out. So there you have it, the PCT or Pacific Crest Trail method of hanging a bear bag. Use it when you get out in the wilderness this weekend. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. I get something out just about every Wednesday. This is Joe Bassett for Valiant Outfitters. Thanks for joining me on Wilderness Wednesday. We'll see you next time.